guys, today's video is a weekend vlog. I'm first gonna answer a question, do we need to double cleanse? And my goal for today is to do some serious deep cleaning to jumpstart the new year with just a clean space. I'm gonna tackle my living room and my kitchen, just get out some dust bunnies. That's so good, not only for like just mental clarity and peace of mind, but it's actually really good for your skin to stay on top of the dust and clutter. Um, but anyways, it's like mid-morning here and I'm kind of hungry. I'm gonna have a snack. A portion of today's video is in partnership with my new favorite energy bar, Verb Energy. I talked about this in my recent favorites video. I love these, you guys. They are so good for like, if you need a mid-morning pick-me-up, they're delicious. Let me get one out here. Um, they come in like six different flavors you can choose from. The flavors are really good. My favorite is the maple blueberry, which I'm gonna have right here. You see, my new camera is doing kind of odd things. Yeah, I'm gonna have the maple blueberry flavor, but what's great about these um, is they're infused with organic green tea. So they have actually as much caffeine uh, as like an espresso. And for me, that's perfect either mid-morning if I need a little pick-me-up or what I really like about these too is that there are 90 calories, which is perfect right before I go on a run. It's not too much, it's not too little, it's just right. Here's some of the flavors that I currently have. Like I said, I really like the maple blueberry, lemon raspberry is divine, as is coconut chai. And then this just came to my door. It's the vanilla latte. Over the holidays, all of these influencers were promoting this on their Instagram stories. So I took advantage of their risk-free trial for just 95 cents to give these a, a try -zy. And I've been loving them ever since. Um, they're gluten-free, dairy-free, and vegan, of course. You know, yours truly. Uh, follows a vegan diet. This is a maple blueberry flavor. Mm. They're really chewy too, which I like. They're very satisfying. Um, but right now, Verb has a great deal, you guys. If you use the link in my description box, you can get a trial pack of their four top selling flavors for just the cost of shipping, which is less than a dollar. So definitely take advantage of it. These are perfect just as like a little pick me up or the way I really like having them is right before it runs out, I know. All right, I'm gonna procrastinate my cleaning just a few more minutes. One question I get all the time, both here on YouTube as well as over on Instagram, do we need to double cleanse? Is double cleansing necessary? The answer is no. Double cleansing is where you use an oil-based cleanser or a cleansing balm to dissolve dirt, oil, and cosmetics, as well as water-resistant sunscreen before then using a cleanser. The purpose of double cleansing is really just to help break up and lift off the film of all that cosmetic, dirt, whatever residue on the skin so that you don't have to spend a lot of time with the actual cleanser rubbing and scrubbing the skin. It just facilitates the removal of that in a more gentle fashion. However, some people endorse that when they use either a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm, they find that aggravates their acne, in which case, you know, it's not for those folks. Um, now that's not to say that everybody who has acne should avoid oil cleansing or cleansing balms. These rules that people on the internet try and make up are just ridiculous. Um, there, are, there aren't really any rules when it comes to double cleansing. You no, know you don't need to do it, but yes, it can be beneficial for removing makeup, for removing water resistant sunscreen. And the people, in my opinion, who benefit the most from using either a cleansing oil or cleansing balm to remove stuff off of their face and or body are people with dry, dermatitic, irritated skin. Uh, because cleansing and cleansers further strip away at the moisture barrier. So anything that can help minimize the contact time with like a surfactant, no matter how mild the surfactant is, you know, a good idea to at least try. But you guys, I mean, there are no rules in the sense that if you get a dermatology textbook, you're not gonna find a reference statement saying, 
people should, all patients need to be double cleansed and counsel patients to double cleanse. Like you're just not gonna find that in a dermatology textbook or the dermatology literature or the medical literature. I mean, there, there's not literature on that. And at the end of the day, some people are gonna benefit from it, others are not. There are no rules though. Try it out. If it doesn't work out for you, that's fine. Um, I get questions too like, do we need to be double cleansing? Like I have a toddler, I put water resistant sunscreen on, do I need to double cleanse the, my toddler? N no. But, you know, if you find that that residue is hard to remove, um, then you might wanna try using a little, like albaline um, would be fine. I mean, you can, you can use the double cleanse method on anybody, um, but it's not necessary. You might find that if, you know, you have eczema, that it's just a more gentle way to remove stuff, but it's not, it's not a rule. <laughs> Hopefully my new ring light comes in soon, you guys. I have, I have my um, studio lights, but I don't wanna put that in front of my face because it's too intense. Um, anyway, speaking of double cleansing, I do the double cleanse method. I've been using that, I am from Fig Cleansing Balm that I got in my Yes Style Advent Calendar, and I actually like that quite a bit. It does have fragrance in it as a word of warning. Today I'm wearing as my sunscreen, by the way, Color Science Sun Forgettable Face Shield. Those of you who have watched my videos for a while, you know this is a favorite sunscreen of mine. It's tinted, it's a tinted mineral sunscreen. It's kind of got a nice matte finish to it, although know, you can't see it in this dying light. Um, anyways, yeah, I really like that. It's got iron oxides and it can protect against ultraviolet radiation as well as pro-pigmenting wavelengths of visible light. I ordered some stuff on iHerb and I got a new cleanser by Sauna. Love Sauna, they have some really good affordable products with soy. Soy is a good ingredient for skin brightening. And it's, so it's good for hyperpigmentation. And it's super gentle. It's also good for the moisture barrier. And it may help in improving skin elasticity and fighting off free radical damage. Anyways, this face wash, I thought I would give a try. I don't think I've tried it. It's free of fragrance and it has a very short ingredient list. So I got that. I wanted to share that with you. And then I also got this cute little hair band for skincare. I thought that was cute. The Vintage Cosmetic Company, Peggy, Peggy Makeup Headband. Um, so I got one of those and then I got another similar thing by Etude House. It's a My Beauty Tool Lovely Eddie Hair Band. I love stuff like this for just keeping your hair out of your face. It's got the little kitten ears. These are good. And it's like a nice soft terry cloth material so it won't pull on your hair. So yeah, those are some goodies that I ordered from iHerb. Did I say yes style? iHerb, I got them from iHerb. I'll list them down below. Anyways, I'm gonna get to cleaning. All right, earlier this week I took down my Christmas decorations and just this kind of like, I don't know, this empty space, a void in my life. Of course, with Christmas decorations, there's always a ton of glitter fallout everywhere. So I'm trying to sweep up all of that. And my white Christmas tree, like some of the little, I don't know, boughs left little white flecks all over. So I'm trying to get it all up. Um, I have two vacuum cleaners. Actually now, you guys, <laughs> I have three vacuum cleaners because I got a Roomba for Christmas. I'm so excited. I've always wanted one. I know it's like, why does one person in a small apartment need three vacuum cleaners? But the green one was my first vacuum cleaner and I wanted one with a hose attachment. So I got the purple shark back later. And then I've been lusting after those robotic vacuums just for kind of maintenance. What can I say? <laughs> so extra. Anyways. Yeah, that corner over there that I was sweeping up previously, I meant to tell you guys, I actually just ordered a desk on Amazon that I'm gonna put there um, because that space is just kind of wasted and it creates a lot of echo. So I like to put a lamp on the desk when it comes just to create more light. I think that will make a difference. So I'm gonna do some sweeping behind these chairs, which I never sit on. <laughs> um, I'm always either at my desk or at the kitchen counter when I'm home or in my bedroom asleep. <laughs> it's like, I used to sit on these a fair amount. Anyways, they um, don't get a lot of attention, so I'm gonna do some dusting here. 
Yeah, I used to sit on these chairs a fair amount and do my editing, but then I got kind of a, like worried that my laptop was overheating, putting it, because I was putting it on a pillow at the time and having the pillow on my lap to edit. So yeah, I kind of bailed on that. But anyways, yeah, I'm dusting this area and vacuuming it. I vacuumed this rug a fair amount, but it had all that glitter fall out. But um, I want to do vacuum these throw pillows, to get all the dust out. As I was kind of alluding to earlier in this video, you know, dust in linens and things, it's obviously a source of snack food for dust mites and that actually can flare seasonal allergies. If you have asthma, it definitely can aggravate the asthma. So you definitely, I, you know, I think it's a good idea to vacuum out stuff like that and I'm going to vacuum the chairs too. Also your headboard, you really want to vacuum that because that too, I mean like as you sleep, you know, your skin is kind of repairing itself or whatever, there's inevitably some degree of skin shedding. So you've got dust and dead skin cells in your headboard. Yeah, I mean, not to terrify you guys or anything, <laughs> but it's just something to keep in mind, just try and, you know, stay on top of that, especially if you have like asthma or eczema. Um, eczema can be aggravated by dust mites. It's another reason why I shower at nighttime, actually, because the act of showering is like exfoliating, so you remove some of the sh skin cells that are gonna shed anyways, and that you know kind of reduces things. Speaking of dust and dust mites, pretty sure I have neglected these little command hook shelves for a long time, a film of <laughs> dust. And so I'm putting my vacuum attachment to work here. This is, you know, those wreaths that I just vacuumed, I keep them up all year round. I just find that they kind of look nice in the background. I entertain the idea of getting some something else that would be more seasonal, but then I'd have to like store these somewhere. Just have to think about it, then you find them. So I'm leaving them as is. <laughs> My arrow garden needed watering, that's what that little red indicator light was. And this little vase is from an old Thur FabFitFun box. I'm telling you guys, I get so much stuff from that box that I end up using all the time. And this little vase is one thing. It's just like my little watering can, yeah. But still adoring this arrow garden, although the dill has kind of gotten out of control. I end up later on um, trimming that back. but. Um, you guys asked me if this thing gets bugs. It has not gotten any bugs yet, and I live in like the bug capital of the world, Houston, Texas. So, so far, knock on wood, it's been okay, but it does shed some leaves, which is what I was kind of vacuuming up there. <laughs> kind of like an indoor leaf blower. <laughs> oh God, speaking of leaf blowers, they are like the bane of my existence, the sound of leaf blowers. Oh, it's just, I don't know, it's like nails on a chalkboard to me. Um, noticed the other day when I was on my um, yoga mat doing some ab routine that there are quite a few little cobwebs up here. So I decided to get the hose attachment out to remove those, which I guess is not cruelty free to whoever made them, but I didn't see any spiders up there. I've said this in other videos, if I see a spider in my home, I just completely leave it alone and let it let it live its life because spiders eat pesky bugs like um, I don't know what they eat but I've heard they they help with other bugs that could appear so yeah I don't I'm actually not the least bit afraid of spiders I never have been however butterflies kind of terrify me um, yes they're beautiful to look at but like if you look at their bodies and their um, their legs look kind of menacing, so I, I actually am a little afraid, more afraid of butterflies. Um, I mean, it's not like an irrational fear, but if one's like flying at my head, I get a little twitchy. <laughs> I don't know, things that fly, they're just like a loose cannon. All right, speaking of loose cannon, in my kitchen floors, I seem to attract everything, like those chia seeds. Speaking of chia seeds, I um, actually just finished a massive Costco bag of chia seeds, and that's where like a third of them are, are underneath my 
stove here. So yeah, I'm gonna sweep up the floor. I try and stay on top of this, you guys. I would love to pretend that I was one of those people who swept the floor every night before I went to bed. Heck no, I do not do that. And then I end up paying for it by having to like spend more time when I actually do clean. If I just, you know, tidy it up along my own look. As always, I have a load of laundry in the dryer here that I'm holding. Does anybody else like, <laughs> okay. Sometimes I forget that I have laundry that's done in the dryer and I end up getting too busy to put it away. And throughout the week, I just kind of take a few pieces out at a time and get dressed and kind of live out of the dryer. All right, these I got on iHerb a while ago. They're like dish pods. I got them with the intention of cleaning the Pyrex that I tried to clean earlier. Um, but I thought they'd be good to deep clean my stove bully doodles whatever they're called <laughs> so i'm just soaking them there in the sink and oh my gosh my stove top is nasty because stuff boils over and then i don't know this particular stove is is really hard to keep clean it just is like i'm doing all this cleaning right now but as i'm recording this voiceover <laughs> There's already splatter on the stove top, but hey, that's life. So yeah, I don't, I don't make any grand attempts to not keep things from getting messy. I mean, otherwise, it's just hard. If you cook at home, your kitchen's gonna get messy. It's just, you know, whatever, I'm okay with that. Still loving these silicone gloves that I got on Amazon, by the way. I use them you know, whenever I clean out the sink, which is something I really enjoy doing. I hate putting away laundry. Love cleaning my sink. I'm just spraying off the surface here. You can see uh, these, I mean, I don't know. They never end up looking like brand new, but anytime I clean them, they always look nice. This is an, a quarantine purchase that I was influenced by influencers to buy. Specifically, Miss Gold Girl um, influenced me to purchase this. It's a shark steam mop. So yes, this is my a third shark floor cleaning device I have, I know. But it is amazing and I love it. I use it uh, whenever I clean the floors. I'd love to say, like I said, that that was on a weekly basis. But the reason why I think it's so helpful is that stuff gets caked on the floor and you don't really see it. It can be hard to get up with just the broom and the, and the, um, vacuum cleaner and most you know mopping the floor i don't like the idea of having the mop bucket it just kind of grosses me out so i love this and it also helps cut down any residue that would attract roaches which can easily become problematic here decided to get out the hose attachment to clean up the nastiness that is all the like dryer lint that is all over the place including in here i mean i obviously removed the lint from the the lint trap, but there's a bunch of lint like within this thing and then all around the door. So I'm just vacuuming it to be, you know, I don't know. It's fun to vacuum out lint out of things. Uh, I think it makes the dryer run better too. I don't know. All right, putting away the, putting back in the, these things. Yeah, it's nice to have a clean stove for all of 10 seconds of my life. Stove top. I still have not cleaned the interior of my stove, which you guys uh, encouraged me to do that it would make my Pyrex not look so nasty. Uh, but I haven't done that yet. I'm cleaning out my sink. Turns out I've actually come to like that Dawn Power Spray that I got at Costco a while back. I don't know. I know you can just get regular Dawn or whatever, but I like the spray attachment that it comes with, the kind of force of the stream. I've ended up enjoying it. I don't know that I would repurchase it though. Speaking of things influencers influenced me to purchase, I watched Jen Chapin. If you don't watch her, you should. She's entertaining and she makes really good cleaning and cooking videos. Anyways, she's always using these Let Me Shine disposable cleaner things. I don't know if she uses this brand, but I've been wanting to use them for ever since I saw her using them because they just look like fun. And I saw them at Kroger and got them and they're a ton of fun. You have to run hot water through your uh, dishwasher disposal for a while. And then you just pop in a pod and it's like something out of Bill Nye the Science guy um, it just like bubbles up and cleans out the 
um, disposal. And of course, you know, you could put vinegar or baking soda or whatever in there or a lemon, but this is just, it's like TV. I don't know, it's fun. Well, hey guys, it's the end of the night. I had a good shower and got some work on the computer done and I'm gonna read my book, as promise where to go. Um, the Lake House, let's see, I'm giving it, I'm giving it more time, as I said in my favorites video. Um, I'm wearing my Lily Silk. I've got the whole Sleeping Beauty set going here with my sleep on it and my matching pillowcase on my sleeping book pillow. Where'd the sleep notes go? It's floating around here somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, there it is. My headboard. <laughs> yeah. Love this thing. Silk, <laughs> silky smooth. Oh, I had a productive day today, that's for sure. I got a lot of cleaning done and had a relaxing day as well. I mean, whenever I get a lot of cleaning done, I always feel a sense of calm and relaxation afterwards. It's just like, <sighs> if ever I am like feeling a little fidgety um, and you know, just a little, not anxious, but like, like I don't quite know what to do with myself, cleaning, is always always something that kind of gets me back on track if you will helps me focus have a clean space so thank you guys for hanging out with me don't forget to check out verb energy you guys the maple flavor my favorite but they're all really good so yeah check them out i think you guys would like them uh, and hope, thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the vlog. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!